You'll say, I read the book that says you never make a decision on the first time then. I mean, by gosh, that's the book I'm going with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't blame you. Look, anyone that makes a decision without careful consideration is probably um, going to make as many bad decisions as they make good decisions. But uh, I will also tell you, you know, there's a guy by the name of Colin Powell. You remember who he is? You know, he was uh, on, did a speaking tour after the uh, first Gulf War, and he was uh, in front of a group of business people. And uh, he was asked a question about their preparations for their first engagement with the Iraqis. And the question was, you know, how perfect were your plans? How well thought out were they? And he said, well, we thought, we've, we thought them out to the best of our abilities. He said, but we pulled the trigger, no pun intended, um, without knowing all the variables, because whether it's in the military or in the business world, most of the worst decisions are no decisions at all, okay? But look, you've got a $22,000 decision on the plate here, and, and I understand your need to, 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 to carefully consider it. Would three to five days be long enough for you to make this decision? Mm -hmm. Yes, it would. Okay. Well, look, whether it's three days, five days, or 35 days, could I share with you what our customers tell us mm -hmm. that they are most concerned about? And maybe it'll help you make your decision, save you some time, maybe even save you some money. Perfect. Okay? Number one, because there is no such thing as a good deal on the wrong truck, mm -hmm. okay? A good deal on the wrong car. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the decision number one is the Fusion that you picked out equipped just the way you said it had to be equipped in your first choice of color. Is the Fusion the right vehicle for you? Perfect. Number two, because you're going to buy a vehicle from us doesn't mean we'll never see you again. As a matter of fact, we hope we see an awful lot of you. We're definitely going to see you for your first oil and filter change because we're going to buy that one for you. Um, do you foresee any issues? Has anybody here um, giving you the impression we wouldn't do anything but bend over backwards to make this ownership experience spectacular for you? Absolutely not. So we're cool. 100%. All right. And by the way, be f feel free to be brutally honest. Have I done my job? Excellent job. Look, if it's the right vehicle, we're the right place, and I've done my job, I got a feeling, I got a feeling that there is some aspect of the budget that you want to think about. Absolutely. Okay. Would it be the monthly investment, the price, what we're buying your vehicle for? Which one of those are you going to spend the most time thinking about? Absolutely, the trade-in value. Okay. The $4,500 that you feel that we're buying your vehicle for is the number that you would think most about. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to tell me you're going to think about it and then go to another dealer. Because here's what, here's what a lot of people do. I mean, they go, to, they go dealer to dealer to dealer, and guess what? They get exhausted. They get sick and tired of talking to car salespeople, and they end up making a bad decision just to get the decision out of the way. Don't do that. As far as it Come, as far as your trade goes, um, when we walked around it, I told you it was a terrific vehicle and we wanted to buy it, right? I also asked you if you had paintless dent repair uh, policy and you said no. I asked if you had a service contract you said no. I asked if you had cosmetic and I asked you all those questions because I was looking for ways to make your vehicle worth more. Because what's a, what's, what's a little paintless dent repair cost to fix now? $70. And I got to do, we're going to have to do that about 10 times on your vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, remember how smart I told you you were not to put new tires on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Look, you could make this vehicle worth $6,000. You know, I got a feeling if I offered you $6,000, you'd be tickle pink, right? That's what Kelly Blue Book says it's worth. Okay. Um, I'm glad you brought up Kelly Blue Book. Uh, you probably looked at their little dial that's got the red and the green mm -hmm. and worth between this, that, and the mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. Did you happen to click on get your instant cash value? No, I figured you could do that. Okay, if I do that, all right, I'm going to promise you. In fact, I'll bet you. I'll bet you. If I do that, and I'm not afraid to because we'd be bringing in one of the biggest buyers of automobiles on the planet to bid against us. And I'll make you this deal. If K 
Kelly Blue Book offers you more for the vehicle than we can pay you, we will give you that number. And if they don't, you'll be happy with the 4500 and you'll take delivery today. Is that fair? That's fair. Okay. Now, do you guys know how to use the yeah. Kelly Blue Book done, instant cash it. value? Mm -hmm. And that thing's, it's the only thing I use anymore when it comes to trying to justify a trade. Mm -hmm. It's just so easy. Number one, it's the internet, not me. It's right. not my manager telling him that the vehicle's worth X. It's the internet telling him the vehicle is worth X. The internet never lies. It helped us yesterday. You, you bet on fact and you say, okay, well, as soon as, you know, if that's the case, we're going to move forward on that. We close it right there because if KBB comes Comes back. And KB, Plus, KBB is, I think one out of every hundred cars I've done, KBB comes up with a number that might be 4,700, but I'm going to bet you that in the, on a vehicle in this price range, K KBB wouldn't offer more than three grand for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a slam dunk. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that I know I talked about last time and I talk about all the time now is, look, the customers use the internet. Why don't we? Mm -hmm. Why don't we? Absolutely. But But how did I get here? I got you to say, you, uh, you look. If, what if he'd said, I'm just not sure about the fusion? Mm -hmm. I'd stop right there and go, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. No sense of me going any further. Right. If he doesn't, if, if, if he's not sure about the vehicle, I've got to go back and either resell or switch. Mm -hmm. And believe me, I don't want to switch at this point in the process unless I absolutely have to. But the formula I use is going to be pretty much the same, whether it's wife, pray, think about it, mm -hmm. shop. I'm going to go, hey, not a problem. I understand everybody should shop. And by the way, I'm sure you've done about 13 hours worth of shopping already because I can say that now when I couldn't, I couldn't five years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but here's what people think about. Boom, 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 boom. Did, did I ever put any pressure? No, sir. And when I say, uh, look, would three to five days be long enough, what do you think the customer's thinking at that point? They got time. They think they're leaving. Yeah. They are not leaving. Now, they may be leaving but they're not going to leave without another closing attempt. 